in this session we will discuss about the filtration system the filtration system is most important unit in a drip irrigation system when you are using the surface water from your river canal or any other source there are so many unwanted material sand particle debris in your water if we pump the same water to your drip system so there is a chances of your clogging your main sub main and lateral pipe so in this condition we will most priority given for the filtration system the filtration system is able to filter and allows the water into the system and it should be removed all suspended and unwanted particle materials organic matters all other algae so based on this condition are divided into two type of filtering unit primary filtering unit secondary filtering unit in the primary filtering unit two types one is sand filter and hydrocyclone filter this sand and hydrocyclone filter are very large amount of filtration can be possible whereas in secondary filter the screen and disc filter this will remove the small or very minor particle unwanted particle can be removed wherever the sand and hydrocyclone filter can't be possible in condition this secondary filters may be helpful so let us see the one by one first one is your sand or gravel filter the gravel filter is a primary filtration unit having the diameter of 20 to 200 centimeter the diameter of this pipe is 20 to 200 centimeter and this entire filter is filled with sand crushed sharp granite like in siluca or quartz okay about the size of 0.7 to 1.2 mm placed in one or more cylindrical tube suppose we are using one sand filter we will fill it with one suppose there are series of these sand filters used filled with all sand particles in the 3 by 4 of entire size and this so that this filter also called your sand or media filter because we fill it with your sand so below this sand there are small nozzles are there we call filtration nozzles are there as shown in this these are the filter nozzles this will helps to create the accumulated algae in this condition the flow rate of media filter is low that ranges from the 5 to 50 meter cube per hour the pressure drop in the sand filter allowable is 2 meter as per the American Society of Agriculture Engineering, the pressure drop in the sand filter should not cross the 7 meters or 70 kilopascal. The next one is the backwashing of the gravel filter. Of this gravel filter, so there is a frequent requirement of your backwashing. Backwashing is the reverse of your normal processor. Okay, the water will in normal processor, the fresh water will come, move from top to down and goes to the outlet to your main and sub main or other secondary filtration in it uh, this backwashing is the opposite of this system where the water will enter from the down as shown in this picture water will enter into down and will close this wall and water will move from the bottom bottom to top and will enter outside so this is called your backwashing the backwashing is preferred for the removing of unwanted algae when the chalk is or enter sand or gravel filter is blocked to remove the interrupted organic matter or minerals particle from your filter media so this may be performed whenever the pressure drop is more than this condition more than the 2 meter or 0.2 kg per centimeter square in this condition we should prefer the backwashing of your gravel filter next one is a hydrocyclone filter it is the primary filter arranged in series with the gravel filter this type of filter also called your centrifugal sand separator or cyclone separator this hydrocyclone filter uses the vertex motion and centrifugal force like that if you see the cross section area of this uh, filter the when the area is gradually reduces and form a cone shape so due to this area reduction there is a vertex motion will create or vertex force will create so that the large density of the particle which however more than the water will fall down that is a called your unwanted debris or sand particle and the fresh water moves upside from your outlet and goes to your main and submit this is the cleaning of your hydrocyclone filter and whatever the sand particle which are settled down in this tank or drain wall we can remove from this drain wall this type of filter system can be removed 98 percent of the sand particle which will contain by the 200 mesh screen size and the flow rate of your hydrocyclone filter is 3 to 300 meter cube per hour pressure drop of this hydrocyclone filter is range from the 4 to 8 meter or 0.4 to 
zero point eight kg per centimeter square. So this is the most important question they will ask in the examination. So what is the pressure drop in the hydrocellular filter? What is the pressure drop of this sand filter? And what is the specific gravity which is remove the sand particle in the hydrocellular filter? That is the more than the one point two. And next one is your secondary filtration unit. That's called your screen filter and disc filter. The screen filter is secondary filtration unit installed in a series with your media filter or like your sand filter or your hydrocyclone filter depends upon the need and which type of water source you are using. And to remove this solid impurities like your sand, dust or clay from the irrigation water after it has passed through the filter system. And usually normally we will use in this screen filters 120 mm mm you used for the screen filter. So the standard mesh screen size up to the 100 microns. So in this system, the small mesh like screens are used. So the water will enter from the top and, and moves downward. Okay. And the whatever the water will enter from the outside of your screen, this will pass from the small holes to the inside and goes to your next main and sub main. So this is the entire filtration area. Okay, up throughout the length of the system that is the in the screen filter the ratio between net filtration area and cross section area of your inlet pipe the cross section area of the inlet pipe this one should be at least 1 is to 8 means the suppose the diameter of your inlet pipe is 1 meter and the area should be 8 meter this filtration of unit this is called your filtration unit okay this should be more and the net filtration area is only one third of your total filtration area so mean that so this is the only filtration area because the remaining the long red color dotted are, are the supporting to the screen. So these are the red color area is not filtering. Only the filtration area is this one. That is the covers one third of the total filtration area. The next one is disc filter. Disc filter also secondary filtration in it. Okay. Before the water enters your drip line, it is used to remove the organic material, all gas and other extremely fine particles which are can't removed by your other filters such as your screen filter or sand filter or your hydrocyclone filter. So this is the flow rate of this disc varies from the 4 to 30 meter cube per hour and this type of disc filter arranged in the parallel to your large flow system. So as shown in this picture, the circular shaped disc are arranged throughout the length of the filtration unit and the water will enter from this disc and this disc, this disc will filter or restrict the oil gas and allow the fresh water only inside of your tube and it will go to your main or sub main system means here the water will first enters on top side and if this will of filtration the water will pass inside of your system like this okay so the unwanted material or sand algae or material will settle down on a top of your disc filter so as shown in this video in the drip irrigation system the major problem is clogging so to avoid the clogging we need frequent cleaning of your main sub main filtration in it. So in this condition we will perform a some chemical treatment in the drip irrigation system. So one is your acid treatment, second one is chlorine treatment. So we will use the hydrochloric acid HCl. It will inject it in the drip system and the having maintaining the pH of this four okay, observed for its entire system and after applying this HCl we will shut off the system for 24 hours okay, for one day and next day we will clean this entire system by opening all plush walls of your main, sub main, laterals and drippers. Whereas the chlorine treatment in this method we dissolved bleaching powder or 2 milligram per liter is injected throughout the distribution system like your main, sub main and lateral and same thing we will shut off the system for 24 hours and next day we will flush with high pressure of your main lateral and drip system and will clean the algae and bacteria.